they did also bring up another familiar enemy from the Resident Evil series. Not from Resident Evil 4, but the liquor. And while I thought this was pretty shitty at first, because, you know, my wife was afraid that they were going to bring back regenerators, and if they did, I would laugh so hard. But, um, no, they brought back the liquors, and once they came out, I was actually really unimpressed, because I've never faced a liquor before. They just sort of crawl on the ground, sort of making, you know, tongue motions at you. Um, you know, it just seemed sort of like, you know, bomb the shit out of them. But, um, no, I have to say, though, in this game, the liquor is actually a very formidable enemy. Like, it is actually kind of ingenious that way. The way that how slow it moves, despite it having its own insta-kill, having a ranged tongue, having... doing a lot of damage, having this bulk to it, like, taking, like, a buttload of shots. <sighs> like, I had to admit, the liquor was really good, and being able to get anywhere that it wanted to, dropping from the ceiling and coming off of walls and shit, like, and facing ten, like, dozens at a time in some parts of the game. Like, oh, Jesus Christ! The liquor was probably the best enemy in this game. That's number two. Th number two that I'm gonna give to this game, okay? Another thing that really pisses me off about this game is the duo puzzles. Now, I know that sounds kind of redundant because you're supposed to be playing with another person in this game. Now, if you were playing this game alone, then I bet, you know, Sheva would be a complete NPC dumbass who would, you know, just sort of just hang around and do what you say. Like, I, I'm, what I mean to say is that Resident Evil 5 is meant to play with another person because if you don't, then you're fucked. You really are because you can't control too much about what Sheva has, what gun she uses, what kind of strategies you guys can use. Me and me and my wife, we were a fucking team. We fucking ramboed in this bitch. I was on speed and, and melee combat and grenades, and she was on full-on power with shotguns and snipers. It was awesome. But, uh, why are there so many switches with two handles? Seriously, who builds a machine that has, that requires two people to go in there every fucking time? You didn't see that shit with Leon. That would have been fucking annoying. I mean, sure, he had his own little duo puzzles, but he didn't have to get through every fucking, like, every fucking sci- uh, He didn't have to get through every fucking, like, s laboratory door with two people. Um, and even in this one section, completely devoted to pulling levers at the same time. And it was in, the, in a fucking tomb, by the way, an ancient tomb. <sighs> like uh, these ancient, uh, this ancient civilization wanted to create this this tricky puzzle to get in, but they needed two people, two people. But uh, it's just it really breaks. It really breaks any sense of like why would of immersion. Why would they build this? Why would they possibly just do this other than for the sake of making a duo puzzle? Other than making it so that you know, your your fucking buddy next to you isn't just, like, jerking off in the seat while you do all the work. So, look, I understand that you need to have those puzzles in there, but make them have sense. Really, make them work. Don't be a lazy asshole and just... The both of you have to pull these levers at the same time. That's, that's annoying. They got really annoying after a while. They got really fucking lame after a while. Bosses. Now, I know this goes along with en enemies, but, uh, you know, I'm fucking distracted as all hell because of this game. But bosses! Like, I know that a boss has a certain way to go about it. Like, I know this sounds pretty obvious. Hi, I'm Joe Cassidy. Alright, I know it sounds pretty obvious, but, um, we have in video games what we call the fuck me light. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's basically a tender spot, like an Achilles heel on your boss that you're supposed to stab at over repeatedly until it goes down and it's dead. Now, you know, I get that. Sometimes you need it. Like, that is what um, Shadow of the Colossus is about. You have to find the, the tender points, you know. But um, when they are excessive, though, that's when they're called fuck me lights. That's when the game purposely tells you by, like, making them glowing red, or making them plainly obvious, or making numerous amount of them, and just saying, hey, shoot here. Like, like, like the eyes are glowing, shoot there. Uh, the, the, this game runs on fuck me lights when it comes to bosses. You have so many enemies and so many bosses that you have to shoot in a specific area. 
Now, this can work to an advantage because there are zombies with body armor. There are, you know, sometimes it can work. Not for bosses, though. Like, you can't, the most unoriginal way to feel like a badass is to shoot a fuck me light. And that is exactly what uh, one of the major bosses in the game is all about. It's about shooting the fuck me light and then getting a bigger weapon to shoot the giant fuck me light. It's very just disheartening. It really makes you feel like, okay, all right, just gonna take this gun here. I gotta shoot that. All right, now I gotta shoot that over there. It doesn't make you think. It doesn't make you, like, just wait for the light to come out and then shoot it and then dodge. No, like, sure, they throw in, like, quick time events. That's what Resident Evil does. They throw, they throw in a ton of quick time events and everyone is sick of quick time events, but they're gonna keep doing it. That's Resident Evil's way the way of Resident Evil. Quick time events. Jesus Christ, like, we couldn't have a more diverse way of shooting this guy. And, like, look, I'm probably gonna get a lot of fucking bitching about, oh, well, there were fuck me lights in, in Resident Evil 4 as well. Well, yeah, but I don't remember them. Fuck, I remember the good fights. I remember, you know, I remember having to fucking work for your win. You died a shitload in Resident Evil 4. Now, sure, Plenty of us have failed here in Resident Evil 5, but it's just, I don't know. If Resident Evil 4 had a coat of paint over its fuck me lights, Resident Evil 5 bears them without any sense of shame. You know, I've got a fuck me light, shoot me here. Just do it. Uh, just fuck it. You don't care. It feels like you don't care. I'm just gonna, like a mindless look of, like a mindless monkey with a controller, I'm just gonna shoot it. Just fucking shoot it. That's a boss. No, just, no sense of achievement, no sense of, like, oh man, I was so clever. Like, you know, I, I was able to get that pinpoint shot. I was able to come up with this amazing plan to, to take down this boss. You know, sometimes you got that in Resident Evil 5, but not a lot. And when they did happen, though, the boss goes down pretty damn quick. So along with our enemies, our bosses, our management time, we have sort of survival events. We have these moments where we're basically on a track, or we're basically faced with a challenge where we have to keep running, 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 or we have to keep shooting, 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 shooting. We have to keep living until the end of the trial is over. You know, maybe that's just what I'm trying to say. These survival moments where you're on the back of this truck, right, and uh, we've got Sheva's boyfriend in the front seat, and you're firing off at, at zombies, at zombies on motorcycles, on dirt bikes, zombies on dirt bikes, because fuck it, we don't know, we know that they're not even zombies anymore, they're just infected. We're dealing with a bunch of bugs, so, you know, just the... <laughs> V is gonna sue. I mean, change lizard, bug. But, I'm sorry. No, but on uh, fucking zombies on motorbikes. And I thought that it would take the cake if, you know, once we got to the swamp, if they'd throw on zombies on jet skis. Now, wouldn't that be fun? You know, firing off from your boat and you see zombies coming over, just spraying by on the water and and having some guys on jet skis on the back, you know, the zombie pyramid, like...